Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. Are you ready to understand and conquer spiritual warfare, have victory over mind-binding spirits, and put the enemy under your feet? In this podcast, learn how to partner with the Holy Spirit to release the prophetic, combat spiritual warfare, and receive and release the ministry of deliverance. Join Kathy as she equips the believer in the area of deliverance as Jesus modeled to set the captives free. Kathy's book, Prophetic Spiritual Warfare, based on this podcast, released June 2021. Order Kathy's book now at kathydegrawministries.org or anywhere books are sold. Now, get ready to receive this prophetic teaching and impartation from the Holy Spirit. Hi friends, I want to welcome you back to my show. And I want to talk to you about soul ties. I was in my prayer walk recently and I was thinking about soul ties. I was thinking about a few people that I had been in a relationship with. And it actually started because I was praying for someone that I'm no longer in a relationship with, but they had someone very close to them pass away recently. And so I really have felt called in the last couple weeks prior to this episode to be praying for them. And so as I was praying for them, I'm like, man, do I have any soul ties left to them? I've gone through my possession on soul ties. I've gone through some of the gifts that they've given me. I've evaluated feelings and emotions. Well, then this person was related to a couple other people um, in a friendship and ministry wise that I'm no longer in relationship with. And so I thought, let me just do a cleanup. So let me tell you how to do a soul tie cleanup. I just stated out loud, I break agreement with all soul ties to this, this, and this person. And I named the people's names in the name of Jesus. And I could just command all soul ties to be severed and broken and any hold that they have in the soulish realm or the spirit realm, I command them to be gone and dissolved in Jesus name. And I felt good. And I took a couple steps forward in my walk and I thought, you know what? Let me do that with my immediate family members. Yes, immediate family members are not just generational curses. Immediate family members can also have soul ties. And so if you have a a generational curse of fear and your sibling has a generational curse of fear, your husband has a generational curse of fear, something like that, you can also have a soul tie of fear. And so I thought, okay, let me just go through my immediate family members, okay, my children, my spouse, to be honest, and let me just break those soul ties. And so again, just a real simple prayer out loud, because why? It just has to be simple and audible because the demonic realm has to hear it. We got to get that shift into the spiritual realm. But also I know my authority. So I know when I speak it out, it has to leave. And as I spoke out, I break all soul ties. I sever agreement with them and I command them, you know, to be gone and out of my life, shattered, destroyed, not to have any physical, emotional, spiritual effect on me. I felt something break. Like, seriously, I felt a a physical manifestation of something break. And I'm like, oh, wow, there was something there. Now, I didn't sit there and go, oh, what person was it with or what was there? No, but I felt what I call a spiritual shift. And so there was something there. And so as I was further on my walk, I'm like, man, I got to tell my friends about this. I got to tell, you know, the people that follow me on Facebook and YouTube and my followers and my mentees and my inner circle and my interns, because I'm like, I hear I am a deliverance minister. I've broken all the soul ties before, but see, we can form new soul ties. Did you hear that? We can form new soul ties. And so even if you broke that soul tie of fear before, but then you and a family member are getting in fear and you're going back and forth talking about a subject that causes fear, that can trigger that soul tie again. So I'm like, well, let me just break that. It was so easy. You know, so often we just need to look at the simplicity of the gospel instead of thinking everything has to be complicated. And like I said, I felt free. I felt a spiritual shift. I felt some kind of release in the spiritual realm. And so I want to encourage you. This is a a simple message. If you want to go back through my podcast, I have a lot of teachings on soul ties. I'm a training platform. I have a a mini soul tie e-course at training.kathydegrawministries.org. 
And I have prayer declarations for you absolutely free over at kathydegrawministries.org backslash soul ties so that you can break the soul ties off of your life. And it has audible declarative prayers that you just pray out. And in five minutes, soul ties can be broken. I mean, my goodness, how much better is that? And so I want to encourage you, you know, you could go through the soul tie e-course, read those soul tie prayers, listen to my other soul tie podcast and get those soul ties out. It's like if you were delivered a fear and now your daughter has fear and she's in fear, you can get that fear back when you cave into it, when you bow down to it. And we don't want to bow down to anything that's not of God. We don't want to entertain it or allow it back into our heart or into our soul. And so I want to encourage you to do what I call it clean up. I say, if in doubt, cast it out. Okay, well, a soul tie is not something to be cast out, but it's something to be broken off, to break agreement, to take authority over. It's not this demon that you can just say, soul tie of demon, be gone in Jesus name. That's not how it works. But I want to encourage you to do a general cleanup. And that's why I say, when in doubt, cast it out. I actually had some t-shirts made on those because I believe it's a, a prominent saying, you know. And so cast out those soul ties, break agreement with them is what I mean. You know, cast them out of your life. We're not casting out the demonic spirit, like I said, but break agreement with them, tell them to go and see and discover the freedom that you're going to have. And if you feel that spiritual shift and then friends, if you want some more training like this, I want to encourage you to join my mentoring platform at training.kathydegrawministries.org. I have an inner circle. I have a lot of e-courses. My deliverance e-courses talk more about soul ties, my YouTube channel. There's so much teaching out there to help get you free. There's no reason you have to be bound. When the sun sets free, it's free indeed. I want you free to so listen to the next episode so I can continue helping you get free. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, e-courses, and mentoring, or to invite Kathy to your place of ministry. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please share Kathy's show with friends and visit her website for a free declaration download and prayer of deliverance at kathydegrawministries.org backslash declarations dash download. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show on iTunes or follow the show wherever you listen to podcasts. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth prophetic healing and deliverance. Thanks for listening today as we partner with the Holy Spirit to combat spiritual warfare.